Welcome everyone, Costine here on Serious Gaming with a video about mods for Dark Souls 2. I would say at least one of these mods is essential for getting a good experience on PC, at least if you're using mouse and keyboard controls, which a lot of PC gamers do, despite what some of the Dark Souls fanboys or at least the console fans might uh, think. Using a PC, uh, using a mouse and keyboard on a PC should be as viable as using a fucking controller, which it hasn't been for the Souls series, not to Dark Souls 1 because of the mouse issues, not to Dark Souls 2 because of the keyboard issues, though the mouse issues have been resolved. It's kind of funny because in uh, in Dark Souls 1, key the keyboard controls were just fine. You could rebind many keys. The only problem was with the tooltips, but you could rebind pretty much every single key. The only issue was with the mouse. Uh, even heard of some people playing Dark Souls 1 purely with just the keyboard, forgetting the mouse, just playing with the keyboard and enjoying themselves, uh, it, it, preferring that over using a controller. Um, but to Dark Souls 2, they changed things around. They decided that, hey, we're going to give you customizable mouse keys and we're going to add all these modifiers and it's going to cause a lot of issues. On top of that, uh, there's a delay with actions using the keyboard. It's just freaking awesome. And also the mouse as well. And that killed me a couple of times early on in the game. I was just so frustrated by this. By this. Uh, so this this first mod is to resolve those issues. Uh, it's not really a mod per se. It's more like a third party program. It's called Auto Hotkey. You download the program, then you download the script that people, uh, various people have made various scripts uh, for usage in Dark Souls 2. I'm going to uh, upload my own uh, script, the one that I personally use, I'm going to upload it and you can download it from the link in the description of this video. Um, and using the script I'm able to guard, to guard break like uh, you could in Dark Souls 1, I'm able to do jump attacks, I don't get any delay in attacks, I can use modifiers like shift, uh, control and alt, no problems whatsoever with that. I complained in my video where I mentioned the poor keyboard controls, I complained about uh, the fact that you can use modifiers, uh, to say for instance in Dark Souls 1 I use shift to block. Uh, I couldn't do that to the default controls because it um, because I couldn't attack while blocking. And it's actually quite important that you are able to launch attack while blocking. With this script, uh, with this program and the script, uh, I'm able to do that. I have to thank Biosquid because this script is his. I only made one slight variation to his own script and that I removed uh, the lines about the E button because that was causing me issues in being able to remove gear very quickly from uh, my inventory. Uh, or armor I had equipped, you know, that's kind of stuff. I use, E is the default key you use to remove gear uh, from, from your character. And because of that line, I had some certain issues. It runs just fine and it will not get you banned. There's some paranoia really with regards to VAC bans when it comes to Dark Souls 2. It doesn't relate to mods. Um, and From Software even came out and stated that it's not related to mod, mods in the, uh, like this, at least. Uh, it, and, and this is not going to get you banned. What's going to get you banned, uh, banned is if you cheat, if you have weapons you shouldn't have, if you have a gear that you shouldn't have, and, um, or if you're too high a level when you shouldn't be. Um, that's going to get you banned on, uh, on Steam. Um, uh, besides that, two other mods, there's Durante's mod which has a very weird name. I, I don't, don't really get what this name is uh, supposed to represent. Jedosato. Don't ask me what the hell that means because I have no freaking clue. I would just call it GDST. Um, and what GDST does, Durante's mod does, is it gives you... It's basically an injector for the game. So it gives you um, anti-aliasing, it gives you depth of field, it's gi it gives you HDR. Uh, and it also allows you to downsample resolution. Now, downsampling resolution from, say, a 4K resolution to a 1080p resolution works just fine with Dark Souls uh, using this mod, with the exception that sometimes you'll, that actually a lot of times you'll get game crashes when you start the game. And that's quite annoying. Personally, I've stopped using it for downsampling and rather I use it to get the anti-aliasing performance of the mod. Um, because anti-aliasing in Dark Souls 2 by default is not really good, uh, but using the Durantis mod, performance is pretty good and it looks pretty good. Um, obviously there's still some issues, especially with it being injected anti-aliasing uh, compared to native anti-aliasing, but it does, um, 
it, it does work pretty well for the most part. And I use uh, Durantis mod in conjunction with uh, a mod called uh, Gem, Graphical Enhancement uh, Mod. Now this is the mod that makes areas darker to the point that I have to use a torch. This is the mod uh, that makes the game look the way it does for me right now. Um, and this mod has a version that works with GDSTs, if, so if you want to use that um, like that, you can. Uh, there's also a version which works with the uh, regular ENB injector, su uh, Sweet Effects injector, whatever. Personally, I recommend you use the GDST version because GDST has better performance uh, for Dark Souls 2 and Durant and knows what he's doing when it comes to things like this, so I recommend you do that. The only downside to this is that you have to always start the Durantis mod and activate it whenever you want to start the game to get the effect from that. Uh, personally, when it comes to this mod, to the gem mod, I disable uh, depth of field when it comes to Durantis mod because I, I'm not a huge fan of the depth of field um, effect, so I disable that completely. But besides that, I use uh, the options that uh, the modder picked uh, for the mod. And it looks, it looks pretty well. It looks uh, very good, in fact and I'm quite pleased with it. Those are the mods um, that I'm using for Dark Souls 2. If you're not interested in the graphical things, just use Auto Hotkey. It will make your experience using a mouse and keyboard a hell lot better. A hell lot better. I haven't encountered uh, issues with, uh, with it so far, besides you know some script lines here and there, but no major issues with Auto Hotkey. And I haven't gotten banned on Steam for using these mods, because some, like I recommended these mods to some people saying, oh, well, I'm not gonna use them because I'm afraid of getting banned. You're not gonna get banned for this, just to be perfectly clear. Uh, anyway, that's all I want to say. Uh, Questine here on Serious Gaming, signing out, and stay tuned for more. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a donation link in the description below.